following segment is sponsored by the Utah Pork Producers. Welcome everybody to the kitchen. I'm working on a delicious pasta salad here that I'm using ham and bacon in. And I want to tell you specifically about the ham. I always have bacon in the house because I like it for breakfast and that. But I always have a boneless cooked, fully cooked ham in the fridge. Because think about this. You can make salads out of it like I'm doing here. You can cut it into ham steaks, use them for uh, breakfast. You can also uh, add soups, add them to soups and everything. It is just seriously one of the most versatile ideas of food to have in your kitchen. When they go on sale, I just buy the little, you know, the boneless hams that they have there. And if it's on sale, I'll buy two or three, put a couple in the freezer and use them uh, as needed. Pull them out of the freezer and use them because I make sandwiches out of them as well. So just a very versatile idea of keeping some cooked ham in the fridge. And so once that gets added into there, I have some cooked up bacon that I've already cooked. We're going to chop that up and add it to it. And honestly, <laughs> I love bacon. I have yet, and hope I never do, meet anybody who doesn't just love bacon. Because honestly, it's one of those things that if you don't like chocolate, mm, I don't know if we can be friends either. So if you don't like bacon and chocolate, oh goodness, we're in trouble. So I'm going to chop this up. It's already cooled off so I can handle it. And this is also a great way to use up extras if you have some like from Easter or Sunday or something like this. Never throw things out. Always repurpose them into something different. Now once you get all of that added into there, we're just going to start to add in the, the fillers as I call them, which are going to consist of some um, cabbage that I have in there, some celery is going to be chopped up, green onions, I'm going to add in some red bell pepper, and I'm also going to add in the corn, and I'm using frozen corn, and peas. And when I find these on sale, I buy, I buy a couple of them because why not? You've always got to have a vegetable in the in your dinner plan. And so when you find things on sale, just like I look for those hams, I will buy a couple of them, put them in the freezer. And then that way I can build up food storage and have some delicious options to feed family and friends. All right, so I'm gonna keep working here, guys. When we come back, we'll finish it all up with the dressing. And it's a really delicious salad. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's uh, looking like- The following segment is sponsored by the Utah Pork Producers. I think it's picture perfect, Ron, just like this amazing pasta salad with ham and bacon. As far as the dressing, you're going to mix up some sour cream, and I like to use the one that has chives in it. Some mayonnaise, you can use salad dressing if you want to. I don't know why you would, but you can. All right, and then you're going to add it into the pasta salad, fold it into there, and if your pasta salad is a great big bowl, wash those hands, get them in there, and get that folded into it. It certainly is not going to hurt that. And once you get that in there, you're gonna have this amazing pasta salad. Now, pasta salads are always best if you let them just kind of sit for a little bit. All those flavors kind of get together, and it's wonderful. And like I was telling you earlier, with the ham, you can do so much with that. If you have that on hand in the kitchen, from ham steaks and eggs in the morning, to sandwiches, to soups, to salads like this. I mean, another fun one to do would be like a chef salad. that You've got the ham all ready to go, and it's just simple to do. I always, you know, remember that little verbiage that says, work smarter, not harder. And so by having an all, a ham that's already cooked, I'm ready to go. Now I baked up some fresh rolls that I'm gonna serve with this as well. And I just think this is a fun idea for dinner. It's a very simple idea for dinner. But it's using things that you probably already have at home. You can use any kind of pasta that you want to. I love the addition of ham and the, especially the bacon in there. And I was going to tell you that the bacon and the ham were on sale today. So that was a bargain when I saw that. So it made my day. Serve that up with some freshly baked rolls and you've got a dinner that is amazing. Now remember, this is a great way to keep pork on your fork and it's a wonderful, easy recipe for the entire family. The recipe's on KUTV.com. You can also go to my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com. Grab it 
and enjoy you a delicious pasta salad with bacon and ham. And Ron mm. says, just keep scooping out onto that. I know, right? <laughs> Me want some. <laughs>